I'm going to mess you up and try. How about Isaiah 7:14? That's such a controversial verse. Take a stab at it. I think Isaiah 7:14 says that in the whole Davidic line, God is going to keep that line alive. Here are two people up north. There is the king of the of uh, Assyria, Assyria from Damascus, and also the king up at uh, northern Israel. Two of them are saying, "We're going to take our son and put him." Uh, Tabiel's son on the throne. Tabiel means uh, good for nothing. Tabiel, Aiel. A good for nothing, son of good for nothing, they're going to put on the throne. So you say, well, what's the big deal? Well, because these could be the two Grinches that steal Christmas. If you have these two kings who can pull it off, goodbye Judah, goodbye David, goodbye Christmas, goodbye Easter. Goodbye program. No more John Ankerberg show. It's all over. There's nothing left. We, we've just cleaned the whole thing out. But God sends his prophet Isaiah and says, don't worry. Don't worry. Because he says, behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son. And he had asked the, pro he had asked the king, Ahaz, please, Ahaz, ask God for a sign. Ask him for a miracle in heaven above and on earth beneath. He piously says, oh, my verse for today is, you shouldn't tempt the Lord God. I mean, he wants to be super silly as pious. He is so pious, you can't even touch him. So the prophet says, all right, God himself is going to give you a sign. I want you to know the Davidic line is going to continue, and I want you to know, too, that in God's climactic fulfillment, that son will be born as the seed of the woman. And so it is an alma a young woman, but more than a young woman, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son. And so you have here God's great prophecy of a supernatural birth, climaxing the whole thing and taking us right back to Genesis 3.15. But some people say, well, Walter, the fact is, uh, you know, what's the big deal about it being a sign if, uh, if uh, you know, virgins, uh, usually when they get married, they do have children. What's the big deal? Well, I think the big deal here is that... Uh, uh, we could have had extinguished the whole Davidic line. And more than that, it is not a birth that is a natural birth. It is God that is now calling the shots and God calling the procedures and the timing to as well.